Hi, this is Jamie with the J Bug Jamie and welcome back. Today we are talking about Greenleaf on Network new series. We are on episode six, Good Morning Calvary. I want to talk about this episode, so let's get into it. So, Greenleaf episode six, Good Morning Calvary opens up with an emotional moment, emotional scene with Stacy in the Sisters of Tamar. And I'm so glad that Grace started this group and it's just emotional to hear. There's so many women with stories of sexual abuse. So it opens up with Stacy just giving her story of having sexual abuse at the hands of her mother's boyfriend. Then we cut to Bishop Greenleaf and Lady May. They just arrived home from either, I'm thinking, a play or a benefit. But Lady May says that she prefers the Wizard of Oz. I prefer the Wiz. That's neither here nor, here nor there, but thumbs up if you prefer the, the Wiz or the Wizard of Oz. Then they start talking about Grace preaching on Sunday and Lady May wants to know when or if ever Bishop Greenleaf will, will reinstate Jacob. Bishop lets her know that he may never reinstate Je Jacob because he feels like Jacob is in the wrong lane and preaching is not his lane he needs to be doing something that he was called to do or something that is his passion purpose calling preaching is not it so then we cut to jacob he's sitting in the their like living room area i don't know if you all have noticed but the entire family lives in one big plantation mansion they live together so the scenes are like spread apart so all of this is happening in one house and carissa comes out and she's like when, you, when are you coming to bed? Jacob's like, one moment. And then we cut to Charity and Kevin. They talk about Nigel. Oh my God, is it just me or is Charity getting on your nerves? Talking about Nigel and whoever else she wants to hire to play the organ or to direct the choir. Lord have mercy. Don't, as couples, do you hate it when your spouse brings home their work and talks your ear off about work issues or whatever. Comment down below, I wanna know. Charity and Kevin talk about Nigel. Kevin tells her to fire Nigel. I believe Charity is giving, getting on Kevin's last nerves as is she getting on mine too. And then side note, Charity's character is so unprofessional. You don't tell everybody how you feel about a coworker, especially if you're in the leadership position, you just go and talk to another leader or talk to God about it or whatever, but don't tell everybody that you're tired of this employee and what should you do, honey? You're a leader now, you gotta act like Then Grace and Bishop Greenleaf, they meet. He wants Grace to preach on Sunday. Grace says that preaching is not what she came to do. And in that moment, it clarifies something for Bishop Greenleaf that okay, if she didn't come here to preach or to bring the family together, whatever he's thinking in his mind, it's something else she's here to do. And he knows what that something is. All along, we see that Bishop Greenleaf knows. I'm gonna give you points when we see that Bishop Greenleaf is not naive about what Grace is here to do. And that's point number one. He gets his, in his mind, he's like, mm-hmm, she's not here to preach. She's here to do something else. And I know what that something is. So then we cut to Sophia and Grace. And Sophia kind of asked her mom, like, what's preaching like? What does it feel like to be up there preaching? And Grace gives her her explanation of what it's like. And it's not really my explanation that I would give. I'm not a preacher, but if, to me, a preacher, a great preacher is called by God. And it's not he's not there to entertain. He's not there to make people feel good at every second of the day. He's there to give direction, instruction, and tell you how God has told him to tell you. That's what a preacher is supposed to do, in my opinion. Remember, these are my opinions. These are not everyone's opinions. If you do not agree, that's fine. I understand, but these are all my opinions. And no church is the same, as I always say. Every church is different. No church, church is monolithic. Okay, moving on. Jacob and Carissa have dinner with the husband and wife who I believe the husband is like a president of a gospel or a Christian television network and throughout this whole dinner the husband is giving Carissa these flirty vibes he's like letting her know that if your husband 
if whenever you want it from me and your husband's not giving you what you need, I have it all right here. The wife, his wife is giving Jacob these flirty vibes and, you know, it's wrong. They're both wrong. We're doing it. But Jacob, they're wrong. You're wrong. <sighs> Jacob. Anyway, moving on, I digress. The husband's letting Carissa know whenever you want to, let's go. It's wrong, as I'll say. And another thing, I hope to God that people who are in charge of networks and Christian networks or networks in general aren't offering up their wives or asking others to offer up their spouse for a TV spot. No, it's not that serious. Okay, Lady May goes to Grace's room she's just there to kind of see where is grace at with the sermon will this sermon be about the say the lord or the say uncle mac has been raping and molesting people all these years what are we going to preach about the say the lord or uncle mac she's there to see that family issues are laid buried in the ground and that it's all about jesus christ you know that the husband of the network wanted carissa and he let it be known that if we all go to this cabin, it's going down. That makes Jacob jealous. But in a way, I believe Carissa was semi-flirting with the guy to make Jacob jealous because she enjoyed the attention of another man. The night that they were supposed to go to the cabin to meet up with the guy who's the president of some television, Christian television network, Jacob is all in his feelings. He's like, I don't want to do this. So Carissa has her bags packed. He goes up to Carissa and he's like, I don't want another man touching my woman. You're mine. You're only mine. So he grabs Carissa and they start making out and they start having sex and everything like that. Their love scene was not the most passionate love scene. I mean, the most beautiful love scene on film that I've seen thus far right now was last season, the first season of Underground, when, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank, when the two characters were f almost free, and they were at the abolitionist house, and they had a moment in the, you know, she was in the tub getting cleaned off, Journey's, Journey's character was getting cleaned off, and... He comes in with towels she's like don't go and the, he cried and you know that was beautiful they weren't married but it was still beautiful anyway so they have their rekindling jacob and carissa it's beautiful they're back together i love it next scene is stacy goes to see grace she's all bruised and battered and grace tries to get her help because she's worried about the children and stacy stacy does stacy is adamant i don't want to go to a government sponsored shelter not happening I'm not I'm not doing it so Kevin and Grace try to find a shelter for Stacy and her children he tries to do it because you know as you know the Kevin was renting out space to a guy in the first two episodes and they were doing a shelter thing but I believe that place is full for anyone who's wondering why she couldn't just stay at the church or I believe it's full. I believe they have a shelter, but it was full. Charity meets up with a new choir director, and she wants to hire him. He lets her know that he's gay. She says that's not an issue. He says it was an issue for his last church. That's why he had to sue. And he was letting her know that his husband has to come and be welcomed in the church. Now, I want to do a side note. Now, everyone thinks that the black church is homophobic. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. I, th I think we paint the black church with a broad stroke. Black The black church is not passing any laws against anyone. The black church has no power when it comes to law lawmaking decisions. If anything, a lot of churches are welcoming to people. And they've been in the... People know... Uh, people in the church, a lot of people in the church know certain people's situations. They just don't speak upon it. So I, I don't like that people paint people with different... Like, they're just discriminatory. No. I think you need to meet with every person first before you paint a brush. So broad like that. So, yeah. I just wanted to say that. 
Okay, so Carissa calls Jacob so they can leave. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I skipped the part, so I jumped. Okay, so Bishop and Lady May argue before he leaves for Birmingham. He's going to Birmingham. That's why he wanted Grace to preach. So Grace is getting ready for her sermons, and Zora and Sophia are going down to get a snack, and Zora tells Grace that her dad, Jacob, gets his sermon on, sermons online for $50, and Grace had purchased a sermon online for $50, and she like was like, oh, he does, you know, you know, she's looking all weird because she did the same thing. Grace gets up to preach and she's her aunt Mavis is there and she has a change, change of heart. She looks around and she says, you know what, I'm not going to preach about what I have down on this paper. I'm going to preach about another topic. And Mavis is giving her the, yeah, mm-hmm, that's right, set him straight. And... That's the end of the scene. Standouts for this episode six, I would have to say, would be Stacy. Her story was very deep and emotional, and she was really good, a good actress. Very new. You know, I told you before, I really love the fact that they're introducing new people to us. I love to see new people getting opportunity and showing their acting ability. I love the scene between Lady May and Bishop Greenleaf. Grace is doing her thing. Overall, this episode was the precursor to episode 7, which was on point. So, I thank you guys so much for watching these reviews. If you like it, press the like button, and I will see you guys next time for another review of Greenleaf. Bye!